Hello, hi, I'm Patricia McNeely. Today's video, I want to talk to you about suicidal thoughts. And I want to give you a different perspective on this. Now, the first thing I'm going to say is a little bit of a disclaimer. If you are feeling this, if it is very severe, if you're going to harm yourself, please immediately seek help. Um, there are there is an 800 number down below in the description to call. Now, the first thing I want to talk to you about is why is this happening? Because this can really hit people out of left field. You may find that you're waking up feeling somewhat suicidal or bleh, really depressed and like you don't like your life, but it's deeper than that. You're starting having thoughts of how could you leave? How could you exit? Should you exit? Sometimes it's not even a question. It just feels like there's some form of futility. You feel futile. Um, you're not adequate for this. And your sense of uh, adequacy comes into question. And in a way, you just don't care. That is a part of your spirit. Caring feeling, feeling passionate about something. Now, you may have felt passionate about something at one time. What happens that you don't care or you see people around you where you just can acknowledge they really don't care. They don't care. They don't care if they live or they die. They're going through the motions. They are phoning it in. They're simply putting one foot in front of the other. Let me say this, for some people, that's all they can do. They push through each day, putting one foot in front of the other and calling it a day. And they got through another day without hurting themselves, without doing themselves in. Now, when this is addressed properly, it can be on the rise. There are things that affect you in terms of why would you feel like this? I had a call from my own child yesterday and he's had some really great things happen. On the other hand, he admitted he was feeling suicidal. Now, he didn't say he was suicidal. What he said was he's having suicidal ideations. That means thinking of ways to exit and it comes up in the mind. Now, we say our mind is the most powerful thing, but what is really the most powerful is your heart, the heart chakra. I am a specialist in getting your high heart open so that those things diminish and you recapture your spirit. Why would you lose your spirit to begin with? Well, it happens. People do. They become dispirited. They get attacked. They get discouraged. There's deep losses throughout history in the ancestry that people feel. And that's how it plays out. It's really, really strange and it's really, really weird. And it's really, really sort of abstract. It can be very hurtful to people around you if you talk about it. Now, I applaud my son for wanting to talk about it. And there's questions that you asked, and I learned this years ago. Are you going to do it? Do you have a way to do it? Are you seeking help? So initially those three things, and this is what, if you're feeling like this, you have to ask yourself because if, if it is severe and you're planning it out, okay, people do. I've known a number of people that commit committed suicide. They actually did it. They went through with it. There's other signs with it. They start saying goodbye to things. They give away possessions. They're, it's in their dialogue, how they speak. They're ready to exit. Okay. They're getting ready. It's preventable. It is noticeable and it is happening worldwide. Now, what happens when you have famous people that are committing suicide? What is actually going on there? That is a very, very, very deep thing. And yet it is not unfamiliar to me. It is can be exacerbated by nutrition or lack thereof, hormones, hormonal imbalance, long-term use of 
substances, including alcohol and other things, street drugs, things that, you know, people think that they start, these actually run in families. So it actually goes way back. So you can't really say what came first, the chicken or the egg, what came first, the addiction or the feelings, or did the feelings lead someone to pick up and then cause, you know, have the addiction. It's all tangled together and it all is important. And it's even more important to get on track. Now, from the severity of where this is, you can feel like you're in a crevice that you'll never come out of. It has to start from somewhere and the start is grab onto the lifeline that I'm offering here. The next thing is you can be in a state where it diminishes. Okay, you get that. It's like the law of diminishing averages. You're getting a diminished effect of how severe this is for you. Okay. There's stages even after that. And it is also something that happens to people when they're in the stages of detoxing from addictions. Now, feeling that way and an addiction are two separate things, except some of the same things happen along the journey to get better. Okay. If you want to get better, there is a way to do it. And it does include the integration of your brand new light body, the opening of your marma points. And it's different than uh, someone telling you it's your destiny to be like this. It is not. It's something that can come up and it wells up from a deep place. You can wake up with it. You can feel like that throughout the better part of your day. There are healthy foods and supplements that can help ease this for you. One of them is B vitamins. Sometimes people have no idea how much stress that they're under, but your body is actually in a state of burning up and burning up and utilizing a lot of things and essentially leaching nutrients from your already grown tissues in order to metabolize all this stress. So it doesn't take a rocket scientist, although it's a little bit of physiology, a little bit of chemistry, a little bit of biology in order to help you come to a state of balance. There are several levels of this within you too, because it involves things that are in the head, things you may have been told, things that you may know about from your ancestry, things that are here because this is your emotion, this is your part that faces the world, things that have wounded your heart and made you want to leave. I mean, let's face it, unrequited love is one of the number one things that does people in, where they do themselves in. They either have a chip on their shoulder and then go around wishing for someone to do them in or they themselves take care of it. And sometimes they botch it. There's nothing worse than a botched suicide. But at a much higher level, this forces a person to relive some of the karma that they didn't conclude and that they sort of gave into. But this can be such an overly compelling thing that it overrides every piece of common sense within the person. And they do it. I'm, I'm not criticizing people for having an attempt that they then survive. It is a good thing to survive it. Not everyone survives intact. Some people have unfortunately really harmed themselves and then they have to live in a harmed body or a harmed psyche. There, this is serious stuff. If we don't address the serious stuff, I don't know who's ever going to address it because the mental health um, provider community is overloaded. Just try and get an appointment. There's waiting lists. There are people in that community that work in there and they're getting burned out because this is all they're hearing. They're, you know, someone's on suicide watch. Someone is a threat. They need to do a threat assessment. Um, they're so depressed beyond belief. And the things that really do work are your chakras, your integration of your brand new light body. Now, I am given to understand this through my body because that is how my gift works. 
and yet I'm able to see the things that has been pivotal. What was your downfall? What made you feel like that? We get it removed. We can discuss it or, or we can just get it on its way with a plan of what to do so that you put this behind you. So what did I tell my son? Well, first we dialogued about it. There's a lot of stress where he's at. There's a lot of pressure. But on top of that, he's a male. And if you're noticing, males handle things different than females. Males are having this well up from a really deep place. If you care about a man, if you care about your kids, if this is something of a concern for you, please get some of the help that is needed. Now, I will be doing um, past life removal stuff and I'm going to be walking you through it with guidance on what to do in my three-part class having to do with past lives. So let me give you an example. I was on a trip to Spain in 2017 with some family and it was sort of uh, someone's birthday and this was how we were celebrating. But we were at, driving through a coastal town and the guy that was showing us the town and showing us that area actually said, this entire town in this year, they all committed mass suicide. And this was like an eye opener, particularly for some people that are Americans. This is, we're not strangers to suicide, but many times there's like something where we're like looking for a reason, but why, but why? The real reason was they didn't all want to be taken in slavery. Now, those things are in people's ancestries fall on your sword. Were you ever in the Roman army? I mean, let's be sensible about where are these things welling up from inside you? Where are they welling up from inside a man? What is the grave wound that really is eating away at this person from the inside so much that they're starting to think of ways to exit? Okay. What are the you know, substances, What? how can someone wean off of this? Your light body has an actual natural ability to help you want to wean off of it naturally, where it feels like the best idea ever. Hey, I don't want that anymore. Something in me doesn't want it. Some part of you starts rejecting it naturally, not with shame, not with guilt, just because it got you by in the old paradigm, and it's not going to work in the new level. It is not going to work for a new paradigm. You have other mechanisms in your body. The same force that gave you life wants to heal you, wants you to rid yourself of that stuff, those feelings, those ideas, those thoughts, those thought forms, those beliefs. What if you fail? You're the phoenix. You can rise again and having your spirit back is what actually helps you to do that. So I am here to help. Um, I also have these messages for people. We're heading into some new moon energy and that new moon energy is deep and it's severe. And as we come out of some of these other energies, you know, like as you, you can feel like you slingshot forward, you have to address these things properly. That means actually rolling up your sleeves, put some skin in the game and be proactive, do something about it. It is a common misconception that, you know, just doing nothing and bumbling around in like, you know, you're in a washing machine getting cleansed and cleaned. That is not the same as integration. Integrating and opening up the new parts of you is actually incumbent on you. You could take a month, you could take two years, but the choice is yours. But I encourage you, get started. Let the divine energy into your new connection points. Those are love connections. Those are health connections. Those are a higher standard of living connection. And those are romantic love connections too. I mean, have you ever lived with someone who's always in a mood? Have you ever lived with someone who's always feeling suicidal? It's like your body is on constant alert. Then you're going through some of this stuff with them. How are you enabling this? Okay, we have to get to the proactive part where we're 
cutting this, you're diminishing the past, you're getting rid of it, you're discarding it, you're transmuting it. That is what your light body is intended to do, is transmute the negatives of your day in and day out. And there is a transitional place. You're transiting out of an old paradigm to a brand new level, okay? There are two different levels. What is your ascension trajectory? Are you going to bump along in it? Or are you going in a way that makes sense? So as these things come up, I will continue presenting these in a video to be helpful. But my help also goes beyond just, you know, talking about it in a video. Nutrition is important. Supplementation is important. Nothing irks me more than people that say, you can just hold the bottle. No, you can't. Those elements in the bottle need to connect with the elements inside you. They're like little Legos. They're like building blocks. They're, you're ingesting them to build you up. Well, what's the difference between a supplement and a substance? First of all, supplements are usually pharmaceutical grade quality. They are nutraceuticals. They are combinations of molecules that actually have been scientifically proven to build tissue and that the tissues get starving from. They are starving for zinc sometimes. Do you ever have a craving? Crave sugars? Guess what you need? Zinc, copper, chromium. Those are all elements. Those same elements are found in the stars, in the cosmos. If Even if you just took one high school chemistry class, you remember the periodic chart where it had all these like things that look like chemicals? Those are elements. I do this with the elements, fire, air, water, and earth, and star dust, which are those elements and the earth. The cosmic and the earthly have that correlation between them. Now, please check out the links below if this is very severe for you. I am saying prayers for you and helping I do energy work to help people integrate and remove, and I give you instructions on what to do. In regards to my son, he's going to get better. I'm determined of it. I have known too many people where I had a friend, two friends, right in front of a train. I couldn't save them, but in retrospect, they let me know they were planning to exit. I wish I had known then what I know now. Because I would have like probably shackled them and been like, you're getting on track. And by the way, you know, you can't just remove things and then stick it back in. That was, that was another mistake that, you know, people go and they'll go for like, you know, a treatment of some kind and then they stick it right back in. You can't, you just can't. It starts all up again. So please, suicidal thoughts, feelings. Feelings of um, despair, worthlessness, these are all kind of tangled up in there. Let's break it down. Let's get going with it. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you have a good day. Um, please email me if you have a question on something. And if you're feeling to tell your story, it's time to have a session or join. Join the class. Thanks so much. And I think that with enough of us ascending, we're going to get somewhere because we have a ripple effect on other people and we love some of those people and they love us right back. Okay, take care. Bye now.